you guys stepped up defensively and we finished this game. And that for me is steps to where we want to go. Steps to success, guys. That's what it was about. And I appreciate that. You guys were great. You guys were great all season. And like, truly, you battled. Way to close out the season, Beaver Girls! Woohoo! The first word that comes to mind is toughness, resiliency. From the start of the year till now, that's what our players did. They showed those pretty consistently. You just see pieces falling into place with things that have been um, emphasized all year. It was, it was a great season. I loved every single moment of it. It was great to learn and experience being in this new league, something that I've dreamt about since I started playing basketball, so it was super exciting. I feel like this season was a great season. You know, going from five wins to 13 wins is tremendous, and it just shows the growth that we had over this past year, and I think it's only gonna get better from here. Compared to the previous ones in the past, like I feel like we've grown a lot, came a long way. This year really proved the growth of the players that have been here throughout that. And also like the impact the newer and the younger players have, right? We have all stars, <laughs> Leah, that's a rookie. We have Nalissa Smith, Kelsey Mitchell. And I just think it's, it's a great unit and it's a great group to be a part of. In retrospect, it was about changing the dynamic and the culture of the Indiana Fever. And I think we had the right 12 to do that this year. I feel like this league is really competitive. And being here for two years, I definitely feel like my confidence has grown. I feel like I'm finding areas where I fit. And that's something that's really hard in the WNBA to try to figure out where you fit on the team. And I feel like I'm getting to the spot where I can feel confident in my role. It's not easy to be one of 144 and then for you to actually come into the league and then find a home with the Indiana Fever for the last three years. It's, it's, it's been great, it's been humbling. Man, this is a blessing. Every day, every game, every practice, we got to make history. And for my name to be a part of that means everything. I mean, it's, it's been really, really amazing. I feel like it's really put my trust in God and just know that whatever this path is he has for me is, is, is for me and I'm going to live in it and walk through it. Seeing the growth out of our team just from the first day of training camp when we all came as a bunch of individuals from a different background to coming together as a team, really buying into you know, the process, really buying into the culture that Coach Christie wanted for us. It wasn't easy, but uh, I think we did more than what people expect um, from us. And that leadership role did get tough sometimes, you know, and it did question if I was a good enough leader or not. But as the season, you know, comes to an end, I think I did a fairly good job. It was so nice just to play with such a resilient group of people. We did a lot and, and we made really good connections with each other. And, the future's looking bright for this program. Kicked their butt pretty good in training camp, knowing that we had to set a standard. And we, we set it really high. And that's one of the things I just did my meetings with them. They all talked about the two and a half hour practices and that's not normal. That was what we needed to do this year to get them to, to understand what it was gonna take to be successful. You know, we want to be the toughest team in the WNBA. We want to be the hardest working team in the WNBA. I think we did a great job of kind of laying that culture down so that ultimately, you know, the successful will follow down the road. I think just looking at us as a, as a group, I mean, we've grown since the beginning of our season until the end of it. And so it's really nice to see what the future holds for us.